Hey y'all, I'm Lockleth and this is episode 6 of my Let's Play mini-series. So in last episode, I hunted for three villagers to fill the plots. It was a very long and daunting process, but I successfully got three that I'm happy with. If you haven't seen that video, a link to it will be in the description box below. But let's go bid them hello today and see what else we can get into. Alrighty y'all, I am excited to go see the villagers that we found in last week's episode. So let's go say hello. Oh, little Wade. I forgot how cute he is and his little smile. Oh my god. So cute. Hey Lockleth, I did it. I moved here. It's a real nice island. I'm so glad I met you and that you invited me to live here and then I did. From now on, we'll play lots and hang out lots and eat snacks lots and all kinds of stuff. I love this. So yes, his interior is not the norm, but that's okay. I kind of like the log furniture. Um, it's kind of more neutral, but uh, yay, we've got Wade on the island. Oh my god, his little wiggle butt. <laughs> all right. Let's go say hey to the others. Oh my gosh. It's Dina. But. Okay. So this is Piper's house. We'll visit her last. Since Dina was the second one that we found. We meet again, Lockleth. I'm still new here on this island, so it's great to see a friendly face. Aw, her little net and her overalls. I forgot how cute she was. Okay, let's see if she'll do this with me. Oh, but she smiled. <laughs> All right, let's go visit Piper. Oh, she's crafting already. Hey, Lockla, thanks for the chit chat on that rando island. Also, thanks for the moving advice. I already totally love it here on Analia. And like, how great is it that we're neighbors now? It's totes great. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, I know it. <laughs> I mean, I don't need it, but I'll take it and sell it for some coin. Thanks, Piper, and welcome. I like the peppy starter home. I like the light, very neutral pink tones. And I that's cute. She's got the Cosmo Reef inside, and it's also on her front door. That's neat. All right, bye Piper. And of course, Dina is right here where we left her. Let's go check out her exterior. I like Piper's, it's white. Can't go wrong with that. And Dina's, yes, it's that olive tone green. I love it. Let's go visit Tom Nook and see what he's got for us today. So unfortunately, it looks like there's not much we can do today. So I'm going to put the fencing outside that Tom Nook just said I can go place, but he doesn't really have any other ideas for me. Like, do you want bells or not? <laughs> I'm going to go visit the shops and then I'm going to time travel because I do believe that resident services is going to upgrade in the next day or two. That way we can kind of get into something new. Alrighty, let's talk to her first. Mabel. Yes, yes, I want to see what you're selling. Let's see. Wow, very eclectic stuff. But I'm feeling these pointy ears. I'm all about hats. Let's buy that. And since we're getting closer to the cooler weather and sweater weather, we are going to get this humble sweater. Yes. Yay. Okay, cool. Tom Nook mentioned that I could put it around houses or around a garden. And look at here. We've got the perfect garden for it. Let's just place it around. And I think that's the last piece I'm going to place. It's actually not a lot of fencing that I thought I was going to be able to place around there, but I like to be able to run through here pretty easily. So let's see if we can scatter the rest of these around. Place some back here. 
just for funsies. Well, there's some fencing, and we still have 10 more. So let's put these just in some random spot, maybe around resident services. We placed all of the fencing, all 50 pieces, scattered around town. So now let's go visit the shop. Already purchased that. We've purchased this that's in the house. We've purchased that. I've not gotten this candle before. And actually, I've never seen the blue version of this. I am going to time travel to tomorrow and see if res services is tented. And if so, I'm going to time travel again one more day ahead and get into some more stuff. So I'll be right back. Now then, I'm sure you all can guess what I'm going to tell you next. It's today's big announcement. As stated in previous broadcasts, today we've completed construction of the Res Services building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. Here we go. Our best BFF, Isabel, maybe? Come on over. <laughs> Here she comes. I will miss his announcements, but... I like Isabel too. <laughs> Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the Res Services staff here on Analia. While I still have much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here. Hmm? <laughs> She's so cute. I've got more to share. The building isn't the only new thing around here. We gave the plaza some much needed improvements as well. Except for one final thing, this was my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be your new source for Island News. I'll try my best to share all the latest updates with you, so I hope you'll tune in often. We really don't have a choice, we always have to tune in. <laughs> new building, new staff, we're growing, growing, growing. <laughs> Find out what's new at Res Services is as easy as stopping by and inquiring, hmm? Oh my goodness, look at little Dina! He's such a mood over here by the farm. All right, let's go visit Res Services. Wow, I forgot how big it is. I was kind of used to the tent. Now this thing is huge. So let's go check it out. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, Lockleth. Hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved Res Services tent. Oh, did I say tent? Of course I meant building. And we couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. You're Lockleth, right? Mr. Nook has told me about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of the new job. But I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. Now, with that out of the way, I have something I'd like to your help with. When you have a moment, please sit at my counter. All right, so good. Now we can sit and hopefully get something new. Oh, ho, ho. got your attention, hmm? Look at that face, oh my God, so sus. Is to have the incredibly popular musician, KK Slider. Duh, of course we want KK here. We gotta get to three stars first though, bruh. <laughs> yes, I'm his biggest fan. <laughs> KK Lament is his go-to. So what is y'all's go-to song? I lean towards the KK Aria song or um but there's another one and it's got like a little koala. I believe it's Alice on the front of it, but I can't think of the name of it. But KK Aria is probably one of my faves. So let me know in the comments below what's your favorite KK song. So the first task that we can get from Tom Nook is to do the customization workshop. And so I got to make the wooden wardrobe. Yes, wooden wardrobe, sweet. Okay, let's do the dark wood. <laughs> the little paintbrush that they use is so cute. So for the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. Okay, I figured that the first thing once Res Services upgrades is for the campsite villager. And unfortunately, you have to 
let's see. Unfortunately, you have to invite whoever comes to the site. So, I can't remember which personality type it is. Is I can't remember if it's smug or something else. So, hopefully it's not something too terrible. Yes, campsite made. Yes, perfect spot. And I can leave my tulip storage right next to it. So, we've got to wait for the campsite to be built. And my home should be upgraded tomorrow. So let me quickly time travel to tomorrow and I'll be right back. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. This looks really good right here. I'm happy with that. I'm glad I put it on this peninsula. I'm glad it fit on the peninsula. Because I've never put one on a peninsula before. And now it's like a little stage. So I can just chill. And hang out. Where you at, visitor? Where you at? I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for you. Where you at? But before I time travel to tomorrow, let's talk to... Oh, oh my god. There's so much going on. Wait a minute, Tank. Hold on a moment. Hang on. Me too. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Hang on. The chaos. Wait, Leaf is talking to me. Yes, pumpkin starts. Yes, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I see you. Hold on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was mashing the B button so I could talk to Tank, and as soon as I stopped talking to Leaf, he wants nothing to do with me. Oh my god, what do you want? <laughs> Apparently Wade is feeling pretty crummy. <gasps> I'm sure he'd feel better if you paid him a visit. Oh, Wade is sick. I know, Wade, you need medicine. They have such good items. Yes, brooms. Hurry! Wade needs our help. Yes, can you not for first? Can you not sneeze on me? <laughs> but yes, here, just take it. Medicine, yes. Please. Take the medicine. Now for additional announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope our guest is able to see what it is that makes Analia such a special place. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go see who we have at the campsite. Okay, so... There are a lot of smug villagers, which your first campsite villager is smug. So out of the ones that I see here and I wouldn't mind having on the island would be Tex because he's a bird, Shep because I've never had him before, Raymond because he's a fave of mine from years past. Ken, which I did mention in my villager hunt last week that I was looking for Ken. But I think my number one pick out of the smug villagers that we could potentially have would be Henry. And that specifically is because Henry is my birthday twin. So, leave a comment in the comments below who you think this is before I go in. But I'm going to close my eyes and enter. And then I will open them. So you'll see it before I see them. Oh, in three, two, one. Lionel! I don't know if I'm happy about that or not. But I mean, there are some very sketch looking lions. And he's actually kind of cool looking, so I'm not going to be too upset about it. Giorno, The name's Lionel. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. And you live on this island, don't you? I figured. Yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really gonna ha enjoy having me here. Okay, you can. Well, I'm glad you can just read my mind, sir. Alright, let's go talk to Tom Nook and get him on here. The bug off is going on at the same time. I know they mentioned it. Oh! Oh my goodness, look at little Wade in his hat, in his net. I'm probably going to melt every time I see his little face. Let me talk to him. 
Happy bug off, Lockleth. Today's the best day. I get to play tag with every bug on the island. That's so cute. You live your little lazy boy dreams. Thomas Nookington the third. Our campsite is impressive, and Isabel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest at the campsite. Lockleth, if you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check it <laughs> check in on our guest. Okay, Tom. Listen. I placed the campsite for you. I already talked to Lionel, which, listen, I already have his name saved right here. Don't tell me what to do. I do everything. <laughs> and if you get an opening, try talking them into moving here. I already did. What? You've already convinced? Good work, Lockleth, and you got it done so quickly. Then this means we have no time to waste. Our next course of action will be building a new home. Sold. All right. Let's go talk to Lionel. Ah, <sighs> we've got Lionel. And if I'm saying that name wrong, I'm just going to say Lionel. Just sounds fancier. Um, I'm going to time travel to tomorrow when he's moved in. We'll say hello. And then I think I'm going to call it for today. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not only is he cultured, but he's got a different view of the island than I do. I like the cityscape. Yo, Lachlan, thanks again for inviting me. Yep, thanks to you, I made my big Analia debut today. I think I'm going to be a big star, but first I've got some unpacking to do, so I'll see you around. Well, welcome to the island, Lionel. So I didn't show you all yet. But I upgraded the home, but I didn't show you the inside. So I did kind of fiddle and move things around to kind of make it cozy again. Um, still limited storage, so I did still put some things on the walls and on the floor, even though I could put them in storage, but why not just have them out? But here's what it looks like so far, and as we progress, I will decorate every room, even if it's not what it the final look looks like. I do enjoy decorating the rooms, but as you probably can tell, the lighting in here is a little different, and I'll show you why. Well, look what we've got here. Not only did I see Lionel move in, but I may have time traveled to 7 p.m. so we can see some of the fireworks. <laughs> so here we are during the fireworks show. I love seeing all of our new villagers walking around. Man, this is such... all the vibes going on. Okay, so I am gonna end the video here, and oh my goodness, Dina, with that sparkler is too precious. But we've got our new campsite villager, who is Lionel. He's a smug. I don't know if he'll stay on the island, but he's all settled in and here for the time being. But I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of my Let's Play series. Let me know what other things in the future you're excited to see, whether that be another villager hunt, which will be in the future, or what other things you're excited about. I am on the road to three stars now, so hopefully in the next few episodes I can get that locked and down, and we can start doing design videos and... Hello, Balloon. <laughs> Everyone's just making an appearance today. But I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.